Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Long and you're very welcome to 100 Days of Poetry. Over the next 100 days, I'm going to be reciting poetry written by many men and women, or poets, and I will be throwing in some ones I've written myself. Uh, I myself love to write poetry. Uh, I find poetry a great way to connect with emotions, how we're feeling, and how we view the world around us as well. It's a different way to tell a story than the usual storytelling that exists. So this is a poem written, written by a lady named Beryl Edmonds and Beryl is from the UK. And this piece of poetry was just published in March of this year. This piece of poetry is very apt for the times that we are finding ourselves in with the coronavirus. This poetry is entitled Coronavirus Have You Seen? And this is how it goes. Have you seen the doctors who hardly get to sleep? From sad, weary eyes, silent tears they weep. They are battling to save hundreds of lives, yet see so many dying right before their eyes. Have you seen the nurses tired and worn, just come from many hours on the wards? Have you seen them out, walking on lonely streets, searching empty shelves for nourishing food to eat? Have you seen the domestics putting safety first, keeping hospitals clean, fighting off the germs? Bravely they go into infectious wards, never thinking of themselves. No, not at all. Have you seen the porters down on their heels, walking many miles, pushing many wheels? We must respect this valued band of women and men. Though they go unnoticed, we can't do without them. Have you seen the caterers keeping all folk fed, the staff and the patients lying in their beds. Such an important role to play in someone's health, a role that could not be compared to any amount of wealth. A big thank you to all our medical and health staff, to every volunteer coming forward like they have. You all have a part of our hearts and in every prayer we make. May God bless you all, keeping you well and safe. Isn't that a lovely tribute to the many doctors, nurses and health staff, porters and cleaners in our hospitals and other health facilities around the country and around the world, who are working day and night to keep people well, safe, and helping to aid recovery from those affected by coronavirus. To all our doctors and medical staff around the world and here in Ireland, thank you very much. Day two uh, will take place tomorrow and I look forward to talking to you then.